maps and stuff. Uh, hope my microphone's working right now. Um, because annoyingly, it keeps shutting off. Um, uh, sometimes uh, my computer setting just kind of audio setting is just gonna say, "Hey, you know." Let's chop off the sounds of the microphone uh, just because we want to. Uh, so, um, I have no idea if this is. I think it's recording because I'm getting a um, green light at the input bar. So, I think it's working and uh, everything's on at the moment, so, yeah, I've, I've done this, um, a few times, i tried to do the sound on this a few times already, uh, failing, so, it's about third time lucky, so, fingers crossed, that my gavel is actually going to record properly this time, yeah. So anyway, I was, I was saying, um, done a few LPs now, I've been LPing for about a year now. Oh yeah, um, if you hear me mention something about tin cans, uh, it's about these knights here, the ones with the shields obviously. Um, I call them that because of the sound they make, they make kind of like a tinny sound. Um, you know, when you hit them and stuff, uh, so yeah, if you um, hear me mention the word tin can, you know I'm talking about the knight, so yeah, I, I refer to both enemy and uh, uh, allied genius as tin cans, or uh, the knights, obviously, are tin cans, um, but mostly I will be <laughs> Um, you know, frustratingly uh, calling the enemy units tin cans more than the allied units because only the enemy units will really be in my way. You know, because obviously, as everyone knows, allied units are not supposed to attack each other. <laughs> well, they probably did in the past, you know, I mean, if it's humans, but. With computer AI, allied units obviously don't attack you because it's more simplistic than ulterior human motives. Yes, I think we get this. Um, uh, this yeah, if I didn't already mention, there's a. Um, on the top there, there's a um, counter that says how many civilians have been killed, and if it goes down to naught, that means that you've lost the mission. Yeah, I was just going to mention about that, that amulet of Yahweh. Um, you'll notice Yahweh, if you don't already know, is a, another word for Jehovah. Yeah, and you've obviously heard the name Jehovah. Um, but Yahweh was actually the original version, and Jehovah's kind of like a, a newer um, version of it. Um, newer version of the name, and basically, it's supposed to kind of be in the name of God. Um, but you can see there, you used to think, hang on a minute, Jehovah, the name Jehovah has vowels in it, and how come that Yahweh? I mean, even if you read up on Yahweh, it has vowels in it. It has uh, the A vowel after the Y and the E vowel after the W. But it's put there for pronunciation's sake, at least um, I think so. You can Google it up uh, if you're really interested in that. Um, because. Uh, like ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics and Latin Hebrew um, has no vowels in it and the vowels, like I said, 
uh, I think are only there for pronunciation um, purposes. To make pronunciation easier anyway. Yeah, and th these are um, pole men, and they. Although I haven't got a nickname for these guys, um, they do make a kind of uh, sort of tinny sound, but it's got more of a deep resonant bounce to it. Um, yeah, so there are a lot of different sound effects in this game. Yeah. Um, the sound if, uh, the, they make uh, is probably a little bit more interesting than the tin cans, although they are easier to kill. Uh, yeah, because the, the knights are perhaps one of the hardest sort of enemy units that are not bosses to kill off, because obviously they're so... Um, what's the word? They're so well armored, I suppose. Yeah, so I was just saying this year LP is probably going to be quite a long LP because um, even though it does have RTS elements in it. Um, most of the uh, stuff in the game uh, has a lot of RPG elements and even though there's only 8 missions and you probably think, oh that's not really a lot they are really time consuming, especially the, um, the later missions probably from mission 5 onwards yeah, you'll notice when we get to mission six that it, it, how lengthy it'll get. You know, you'll you'll even you probably forget what mission we're on. It, you know, um, apart from the fact that I I will put well, what mission it is and what part of the mission it is um, for you. So. You don't have to remember. The, <laughs> the only person that has to remember is, is me. So, yeah, um, I got into LPs uh, about a year ago. My first one was, of course, Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire. I just had it lying around, you know, played it, completed it, and stuff. Um, I'd uh, been inspired by uh, LPs like Chrono Gear and uh, Lord Vega. Although when I started, I I didn't know how to record uh, LPs. I didn't know what I was doing, and my videos were pretty simplistic. Uh, over the past year, I've learnt. Um, a lot more about video editing and adding sounds and like uh, images and stuff. So um, I've learned about video quality and whatnot. Uh, so I think my videos have taken on improvement. You can probably see this if you've been with me uh, from the beginning of my LPs. Uh, yeah, so, so, <laughs> let's wait for the next bit of the missions. Mission 2 isn't over yet. You thought it would be over when we'd, um, help you know, uh, made all the, uh, saved all the uh, civilians, or at least some of them. Um, now we have to go outside the gates. Interesting. Uh, but there's only two settlements that we have to go to, so it's not really... Not bad. But I feel this is not the last we will hear of our invaders. <sighs> Meet me at the town hall, John. There is much to discuss. It's not as bad as 
native missions where you have to actually go to several. Uh, one of the other. And also, there'll be several bosses scattered around. But we've already started the boss fights, really, on this level. 